Welcome to Bar India News Hour. Russia Ukraine war to impact stressed semiconductor industry. There is growing tension and bad news for the already stressed semiconductor chip industry. This comes at a time when chip makers are struggling to keep up with the demand for chips across the computing and automobile sectors among others. Experts predict that the Russia Ukraine war has the potential to constrain the supplies of neon and palladium to critical components in the manufacturing of semiconductor chips. Ukraine is a major supplier of neon gas which is used in the lithography stages of chip production. Sources said Ukraine has a share of 90% semiconductor grade of neon, a noble gas. The gas, a byproduct of Russian steel manufacturing, is purified in Ukraine, market research from Texas says. Russia is the source of 35% of the palladium used in the United States. The metal is used in sensors and memory among other applications. This could lead to an increase in the cost of production of semiconductor chips. Both Russia and Ukraine are vital exporters of raw materials used in the manufacturing of chipsets and semiconductors. With these chips being vital to all modern electrical devices, companies may decide to pass on these costs to buyers, leading to an increase in the prices of consumer technology products. Europe faced one of its biggest security crises in decades after Russia invaded Ukraine by land, air and sea. As per analysts, Russia is also a key supplier of neon and palladium, accounting for a third of the global supply of the metal. Palladium is a metal that is used for electronics, catalytic converters, among other things. West's sanctions against Russia could lead to a shortage of this metal and force manufacturers to scramble for alternative sources. Large chip companies said they expect the limited supply chain disruption for now from the Russia-Ukraine conflict thanks to raw material stockpiling and diversified procurement, but some industry sources said there could be an impact longer term. Sources said the availability of those materials is already tight, so any further pressure on supplies could push up prices. The White House said that it planned to choke off Russian access to the range of US tech, including semiconductors, as part of the economic sanctions package proposed in response to the invasion of Ukraine. The sanctions have the potential to severely damage Russia's ability to get its hand on the most advanced chip made around the world. Despite the growing need for chips around the world, Russia isn't a primary market for chip makers. Russia is not a significant direct consumer of semiconductors. Even the country's overall spending on tech is relatively unlimited. As per IDC, it estimates the market at roughly $50 billion compared with a global market that measures about $4.5 trillion. Let's look into today's headlines in Bar India. Smartphone users can now approach consumer forum for deficiency in services. The Supreme Court has held that an individual facing any deficiency in telecom services can approach consumer forums directly with this complaint against the company. The top court passed a verdict on an appeal of Vodafone by which the company had challenged an order of National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission by which it had affirmed the view of SCBRC that Section 7B of the Act of 1885 would not be applicable to a private service provider since it is not a telegraph authority. Varun Singla appointed as SVP CISO of Airtel. Airtel has appointed Varun Singla as SVP and Chief Information Security Officer. He will be leading the cyber security teams and reporting to Pradeep Kapoor, Airtel's Chief Information Officer. Prior to joining Airtel, Singla worked at the US headquartered Micron Technology as Vice President and Chief Security Officer. In this role, Singla will be driving next generation cyber security initiatives and contributing to the ongoing innovation and business growth at Airtel. Elon Musk initializes Starlink internet service in Ukraine. Elon Musk said his company SpaceX's Starlink satellite broadband services had been activated in Ukraine after Ukrainian Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhailo Fedorov urged Musk to provide Starlink services in the country days after it was invaded by neighboring Russia. Musk tweeted, Starlink services is now active in Ukraine, adding more terminal and route. Starlink operates a constellation of more than 2,000 satellites that aim to provide internet access across the planet. Government cancels Rs 19,000 crore BBNL tender. Following the lack of participation of eligible bidders, state-owned Bharat Broadband Nigam Limited has cancelled a Rs 19,000 crore tender that was floated for connecting villages across 16 states with an optical fiber-based high-speed broadband network. The project was divided into nine packages and tenders for each of the packages were floated separately. The project was approved in June last year to roll out an optical fiber network under BharatNet in 16 states in a public-private partnership model with a total expense of Rs 29,430 crore. 
NVIDIA allegedly stole back its data hacked by a ransomware group. NVIDIA recently suffered a cyber attack from a ransomware group called Lapsus Dollar that stole 1 TB of data from its team green, including personal information about employees and even some details about RTX GPUs. In return, NVIDIA attacked the ransomware group by remotely encrypting the stolen data and cutting off Lapsus Dollar's access to NVIDIA's network. Lapsus further claims to have already made a copy of the stolen data, making NVIDIA's successful encryption attempt somewhat futile. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.